Morning guys, I thought I would do a review on our Helinox Sunset Chairs. Now I've had these chairs for two years now and one of the main reasons we bought them was the size. So that's the size of the chair packed up there. So it's 47 centimeters long. Now in the car we were a bit short on space so we looked at these chairs and there was nowhere at home to, like no shops around to go and try them so we just bought them online and hoped for the best but since using them for the past two years they've turned out pretty good they're really comfortable yeah i haven't felt the need to have another chair like for the sort of camping we do so one of the advantages too is they're nice and light so they're made from an aluminium frame and they're very light and very strong all right, so let's go through some of the pros from our experiences from using them for two years now. So size and weight is a massive pro, like this folds up small and it's light, obviously. It's easy to store in the car, like depending what car you got, you can nearly fit that under your front seat, but it's, it's easy to pack in, not unlike your normal camp chair, which is fairly big. So another pro is it's comfortable definitely comfortable to sit in so a lot of people ask me how comfortable the chair is and I get them to sit in it and it's they're quite surprised it can also hold 145 kilos so so another pro is it's easy to set up now it's got the elastic in between the elastic shock cord in between all the aluminium and it's Nelly sets itself up and then you just stretch the cover over. Another pro is if this cover gets an ember in it and you burn a hole in it or whatever, you can buy a new cover from Helinox itself. So you can just jump online, I'm pretty sure it's on there, or you can send them an email and you can get a new cover. You can also buy the new bag if you happen to lose the bag. So another pro is that the carry case itself you can roll a towel up or a jumper or anything you want roll it up in there neatly and it just velcros onto the chair there and then that can become a pillow attachment you can also buy a proper inflatable pillow attachment from them if you like one of the other accessories you can buy is the foot pad because if you're camping in sand or soft ground put the feet in each corner and then it won't sink in as much but I, I haven't used this yet I did buy it thinking I would use it in sand but in sand it sinks in a bit but you can just stretch your feet out a bit better and it's just as comfortable so that's it now with the base on So let's talk about some of the cons on this Helinox Sunset Chair. Now, one of the cons I got is it's lightweight. I know what you're thinking, I said that's a pro as well, it is. But the con is that if it's windy and you leave it near the fire, it can blow over. It blows over very easy in the wind. So, but I've already talked about that accessory there. So if you're that worried about it, I, I don't normally do this, but it is an option. You can just put that put the base on just leave a rock on it or a block of timber um, and then it's not that's made it heavy enough now it's not going to blow away most of the time I don't do that if I'm leaving the fire for any reason I grab this and I take it a few paces away from the fire so it can't blow in if it is going to blow over also talked about if it does happen to burn the seat you can order a new one so that's a pretty good option i reckon another con is no armrests on this chair but since using it i found that it's actually better without armrests i prefer to sit like this now and not have armrests and the other con i have is no cup holder but it doesn't matter we normally have a little table here or sit your uh, drink on the ground or better still just don't even put your drink down okay some of the specifications it's 98 centimeters high the seat base is 36 centimeters it can 
hold 145 kilos, talked about that, and the packed weight is 1,475 grams. Its packed length is 47 centimeters. It comes with a five year warranty. The frame itself is made in Korea and the material parts of this seat are made in Vietnam. At the time of review in Australia, these cost $209. To sum it up, would I buy another one of these chairs? Yes, definitely I would, but hopefully I don't have to buy any more because this is lasting very well. We can probably more than most people and this has um, been through its paces in two years. So it's looking pretty good and I'm pretty happy with it. So I'd definitely buy another one, I definitely recommend it. Okay guys, thanks for watching my review. I'm no way affiliated with Helonox at all. I just thought I'd give my opinion on this chair because I think it's been pretty good. If you've got any comments or any questions, leave them in the comments section.